everyone, this is Ash with Optic and Joe is joining me once again. Today we are diving deep into the quantum realm of spoilers for Endgame, so be warned. We did make a spoiler free review that will be in the link below in case you guys missed it or just prefer spoiler free stuff. Alright, now let's just jump right into this nerdy heaven. It was so great seeing it open with Hawkeye, because I know we were all happy to see him once again. Some of us thought that he would lose his same family, but actually seeing it occur and his reactions to it were completely heart-wrenching. This was the first of many tears to come, little did I know. Now the first hour was a bit slow, very much so the trailer shown on TV, but it was completely necessary for the build-up and gathering of all the characters. So many characters. What I really liked from the beginning was seeing Thor learn his lesson and actually aim for the head. I also loved seeing how everyone coped with the loss after the five years in different ways. Steve being part of a group like Falcon persuaded him to from the Winter Soldier was awesome. I'd like seeing Natasha run her own group of Avengers, but was shocked to see how much emotion she showed in this film. She generally was a serious character who occasionally made a joke, but never showed that much emotion. But in this movie, she cried or at least teared up numerous times. The way these characters acted actually made sense for them. All of them felt responsible in their own ways. It was cool, yet odd, how Ant-Man got out of the quantum realm. But it was awesome how he made his way and learned of everything that happened, especially seeing his daughter, Hope, after five years and being so much older. It was just beautiful. I personally love Hawkeye and was actually very upset that he wasn't in anything since Civil War. So seeing him in this and becoming Ronin was amazing, especially since Hawkeye and Ronin were the things that got me into comics to begin with as a kid. I'd like that he became more of an anti-hero in this by killing gangs and people like that. And Thor was absolutely comical and was also super awesome. You saw a chunky, scared, alcoholic god who was broken and beginning to have anxiety due to losing against Thanos. I love how everyone has so many different layers. There was Denial, the one who wanted to try and find positivity. The one who used his hatred and loss as his weapon. The one who gave up and turned alcohol. And the one who failed and blamed people for their loss. And lastly, there was Hulk, who wanted to be better and became Professor Hulk. Iron Man was clearly destroyed from losing, but wanted to try and move on, and he did. He got married and had an adorable little girl named Morgan. You saw him wanting to do everything he could to make her life better, and I feel like she was introduced for a reason, so I'm curious on what they will do with her. Plus, she was super cute. I just had to repeat that. I loved how perfectly balanced this movie was. Tony was still his sarcastic, smart-ass self, and Thor and Rocket were also hilarious, and I just loved how Tony interacted with Rocket by calling him a Build-A-Bear. Or calling him Ratchet while he was working. That was hilarious. There was also a lot of adorable moments, like when Hawk gave Scott tacos since Nebula blew his away when she landed. Now, let's get into the depression parts of the movie. I don't think anyone was prepared to lose Black Widow, especially since she finally showed some emotion for basically the first time ever. And we also have a movie announced for her too. I officially hate Vormir. Nothing good comes from that place. When they got there, I got upset because I had a feeling I was going to lose one of them. But I was hoping that they would find a way to not have to sacrifice somebody. The two people I did not want to die at all in this movie was Hawkeye and Iron Man. At least you can keep one of them. Losing Iron Man made sense. It was so heartbreaking. I was a total wreck when he died and cried for the rest of the movie. Both times we saw it opening weekend. I loved his last words though and how it connected with the first MCU film. But enough of the sad talk. Okay, we can move on to the final battle section. It was amazing. Pure fan service and basically the ultimate nerdgasm. I love looking back and seeing just how far we've come. We had Civil War, which was amazing, but people did complain that there wasn't enough heroes in the airport scene. 
and now we have this that literally had every character. Even freaking Howard the Duck was there. Seeing the Marvel Trinity fight together again was breathtaking. My jaw literally dropped numerous times in that fight. I think a lot of people's favorite moment is when Steve finally uses Thor's hammer. I'm also very short. I yelled, yeah, when that happened. Like, he legit went from this. Come on, Cap. Do this. Ah! Speaking of that picture, it was a nerd's dream come true to finally hear them say Avengers Assemble. Especially since we got gypped in Age of Ultron. Yeah, you owed us after that, Marvel. Avengers! They definitely brought everyone back in the most perfect way. I was ecstatic to have my Scarlet Witch back once again. She's my woman crush of the whole MCU. Now, I know many were shocked or upset with the fact that Cap gave his shield to Sam. Honestly, it made sense for him over Bucky. And this means a lot because I'm a major fan of Bucky. Cap wanted Bucky to finally live and enjoy life and find true happiness after all these years. Sam has already lived and he knew what he wanted in life. And that was to basically run the Avengers team the way Cap would have with the perfect balance and humility. I truly liked this decision. Well, that's just some things we truly loved and felt saddened about for the Avengers Endgame movie. The Russo brothers have done a phenomenal job at making the perfect movie once again. We know there is a lot of talk about when it comes to this movie, so please let us know your thoughts of what you enjoyed or didn't appreciate, and any questions you may have down in the comments below. Go ahead and click that thumbs up button and subscribe icon on your screen, so hit that bell. Scarlet Witch will mind control you to do so anyway. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching, and we hope to have you next Tuesday with another one of our nerdy videos. Truth is, I am Iron Man.